so this is Sutherland. This has always been an odd house to me. Um, that's a floor outlet. It's funny, I just showed this house last month and all the floors were buckled up. And it was laminate. Now they got LVT down. Um, anyway, I'm not really sure what this room is. I guess it's I guess it's a living room, but it's open to the family room, and that's one of my peeves. The door is like, and I've got a little dining room. I looked up the square footage of this house and the other house has 300 square feet difference. And I think where that is, is this space right here. I think the rest of it's pretty comparable. This has the dark granite, Ubatuba. There's nowhere for a cabinet or anything in here, but you can put a you could put a long table here. It's got a nice pantry. Now this has a half bath downstairs as opposed to the other one with the full bath down. And this does have a nice laundry room. If I can find the light. Decent size. Which this is the walkway. So that part of it is comparable, but you gain this little, um, place to put the coats. And then you have the garage. Let me see if I can. I can't get the light on, but I think if you look at the other video, that had two garage doors and I think it was a little bit deeper. If you can see right there, the weather stripping is gapping. They have the louvered door here because they have a gas hot water heater, so they have to vent it. It does have a screened in porch. But you can't really see the yard, but that's the size of the yard from there to there. And it fans out on that side. Um, that's the high school. That's behind. The reason they have that fence up is because that is the biggest ditch you've ever seen in your life behind that fence. And you could see the fence there. That's the big part of the yard. So, but it doesn't need to be very big. I mean, there's nobody behind you. And 
not quite as much counter space as earlier today. And the kitchen is not compartmentalized. 